All right, let's look at a really important one, self-care for leaders. So if leaders don't look after themselves, they cannot look after anyone else. There's a cliche, put your own oxygen mask on first. It is the foundation. I actually, right now, I'm about to go on holiday for a week in the woods just to look after myself on my own so I can come back to my company actually refreshed, yeah? Uh, I can feel I'm at that point where I need that actually today. Um, so important for leaders. And you know, what, if we take care of ourselves, it actually practices something for care for others. Yeah, also just capacity. Leaders, a lot of demands are placed on leaders. It, you know, it's not just lonely at the top, it's brutal, it's exhausting. It's, people say, oh, I wanna be in your position. I'm like, no, you don't, trust me, you don't. Okay, not that I don't love it in many ways, I don't enjoy it, I love the influence, I love the fact that I get to be, you know, have power in the world and use that for good, I love all that, but it, it's exhausting. And the demands of projection are exhausting. The demands of time are exhausting. I constantly have to be putting up boundaries to have time. Being seen is exhausting. You know, many leaders are in that position of having to make choices and be responsible, which is a definition of leadership. That shit is exhausting. So self-care is so important. Um, self-care, I've done whole workshops on this. It doesn't just look like bubble baths, okay? Self-care looks like boundaries. It looks like how you talk to yourself. It looks like who you let in your life. It looks like how you, a big one, it's your schedule. You know, like we're having a lunch break in filming today, like a proper lunch break where we go out into the sun and get food. We're not just gonna work through it and have sandwiches while filming, right? So like how you treat yourself around your diet, how you treat yourself in your sex life, how you, um, uh, relationships, the biggest part of it really, as well as time management. So how you talk to yourself, how you rush through the day or not. Self-care has got many, many aspects. And particularly if, like me, you're passionate about what you do, you've got a sense of purpose and mission, it can be very easy to develop this false economy of harder, faster, more. Like this week, I taught two extra workshops at nine o'clock in the evening just because I loved the content, I really wanted to do it. And then by Wednesday, I was like, I have to get to bed early. I have to get to sleep early. You know, and then it's, also it's complicated. Like this morning, I canceled a martial arts class that I was gonna do. Was that self-care? Was that laziness? Was that not self-care? You know, it's not an easy thing because let's take exercise as an example. Exercising is self-care, but over-exercising isn't. Having a sleep in could be better self-care or better self-care could be getting up and doing the exercise. So it's about balance. It's not an easy thing. Um, the key thing with self-care is to understand deeply two things. One, your ability to do your job is directly proportional to this like you the quality of my teaching of my management my leadership my visioning my creativity everything directly proportional to my self-care and people don't realize this they see the yang mark doing things in the world they don't realize I, I do have a bubble bath every night i do get a massage every week i do meditate every morning i eat really well like luke the film person can contest this like I, you know when we go for lunch we go good places and eat good food right like i i have quality time with my wife quality time with my friends that's so important to me. And that generates, that yin generates the yang of my life. And people only see the yang, they don't realize that I know how proportional it is that I can do this yang work from the self-care place. Second really deep realization is actually like you deserve it, like that you're worthy. This is like the deep Brene Brown type stuff, right? That you actually, it's not just that you should do it because that's what drives the work, right? It's that actually in and of yourself, it's worth doing, irrespective of whether it helps you run a company or help other people. And that there's a deep piece of work for many people on that who have been taught to be self-sacrificing, who have been taught that they're worthless, whatever it is. That other people come first, that you don't matter. So that can be a deep piece of therapeutic work to really get to grips with that. Um, and you know, the old, the old sort of trick is treat yourself as if you were treating a friend. Yeah, sometimes I say, if you can't manage self-love, do self-kindness. If you can't manage self-kindness, do self-politeness. Just treat yourself like you would civilly. It's very British. Um, or look after yourself as if you were looking after a friend's life. There are ways into that till you can do some of that deeper work. But self-care, absolutely the basis of any leader's leadership. If you want to be sustainable, if you want to have any kind of fun doing this and do it for the long, long haul, uh, is got to be the base. Mm -hmm.